Good morning. I just wanted to come on here and show you how to navigate through two of our newest online resources that our math specialist, Mary Wilson, showed us this morning in our Zoom meeting. Now, one of them is using base 10 blocks and the other one is using our number disk. Now, you can use either one, whatever one you're comfortable with, but I just wanted to show you how the site worked. Obviously, you've got your base 10 blocks over here. You've got your ones, your tens, and your 100s. Now, if you were to write your math problem. You can use the text tool because I think this is actually easier. 64 minus 23. You click done and you can move it to the corner. If you want to get your tens, you can click on them and drag them. So let's say I wanted to do 64. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, and then I want to use my, my ones. Ten, oh, one, two, three, and four. Now, here's the fun part. Now I need to take away 23. Now the kids will say, do I have enough ones to take away three? And the answer would be yes. So you can come over here and click this tool down here, and then come out here and and actually cross it out. So I'm going to cross out one, two, three. Now my next question would be, do I have enough tens to take away two? And the answer would be yes. So I'd cross out one, this one's kind of hard, cross out two. Now I could actually come back and count. So I'd switch to my tool, I don't know if you saw it up here, and I'd write 10, Ooh, 20, not very good though. 30, 40, oops, and then 41. So I could write my answer here. My equals 41. This is just a way that the kids can actually see the manipulatives instead of having to draw these base 10 blocks on their own. Now, another cool feature, I'm going to start over so you can see it, is if I have my 10 and I'm trying to subtract and I don't have enough ones, I need to break apart. So what I do is I'd click the tens, I'd come down here and this says break pieces. Then I'd come back and I could actually move them away. This is really helpful when we're doing subtraction. Okay, now the next one is the one on place value. So let's say I want 30, oops, two plus 26, oops, that didn't work, 26. I could first do my number disk, 10, 20, 30, one, two, 20, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so then I could easily say, okay, my answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's not enough to make a 10, so it stays the same. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I could say my answer is 58. Now, if we needed to regroup, all you do is you just bring them back down here and they disappear. And then you'd add another 10. Remember, if you have any questions, you can let us know. This website also has base 10 blocks that you can use. So it's just up to you which site you enjoy better, whether it be this toy theater or the number pieces. Anyway, let us know if you have any questions.